This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. I'm doing the lesson Ninjas vs. Pirates. Wow, the game is hard to win. I know, but I just did. Let's customize this game to make it more fun. This has two parts. This challenge. Slow down the ninja, Actor 3, before you set him to chase the pirate, Actor 1. And remember, the computer call calls the ninja Actor 3. It doesn't use the term ninja. It thinks Actor 3 and pirate Actor 1. Use a repeat forever loop, so these pink ones, to check to see if the pirate is in the safe zone beneath the line of the octop. Okay, beneath, oh, greater than 225 pixels down. Oh, I bet we need to know that number. If he is, set the ninja to flee the pirate. If he is, set the ninja to flee the pirate. Otherwise, set the ninja to chase the pirate. Oh, to run from. Got it. Okay. So we got a few things. First, slow down the... Okay, let's slow down the ninja. So slow down actor three. Let's just, what could do that? Set actor one to... Nope. Speed. Set every witch to speed? Set every mass ninja to flee? Okay, so I'm seeing. Okay, so we want to use this. I... Unless there's something else that controls speed. Okay, so set every witch. No, we want to set every. We're going to set every mask ninja to a speed of one, which I think is slower. Okay, use the repeat forever loop. Okay, now we need that pink loop thing. And remember, anything that goes inside of this actually repeats forever. So the code runs over and over and over and over okay so beneath to check to see oh we're going to use an if statement too wow this is complicated so we're going to see if the pirate is beneath the line of octopus so if the actor yep if the actor one that would be my pirate is beneath okay 225 so if actor one, oh no, if actor one's greater than 225, I think this is it. Yep. Okay. So we're going to put that in our repeat forever loop. So if actor one's Y position is greater than 255, no, 225. So if it's greater than 225 pixels down, set the ninja to flee. Oh, I need an if else. I can already tell. All right. Whoops. Because it has an else. Okay. So, 225, we're going to set the ninja to flee. Else, so this will happen if the, if we're the actor one, if the pirate's not below this line, set the ninja to chase. Kind of hard to see because how long the code is, and I zoomed in to make this video. All right. So, let's go through this. If actor 1, if my pirate's Y position, and there's an invisible XY chart behind this, um, Y, and remember Y is up and down, is greater than 225. So the invisible chart, which you can't see, I know it's annoying, 0, 0,400 is up here. Okay, so that means that, I mean, 400 for Y is here. The bottom is actually 400. 0 for Y is up here. So as you go down, right, as you go down, Y increases, which is why we're saying if actors one's Y position is greater than 225. So if it's greater than 225, if we're down here, we're asking the computer a question, is actors Y position greater than 225? If the computer says, yes, he's down here. Yes. True. Then we run the code in the if statement. So we would set every mass ninja to flee the actor. If this is false, no, the pirate's way up here. False. This is false. We do not set every ninja. We don't do that code. We skip it. Zoop. This has to be true statement, and then we run this. If this is a true statement and we run this, we then skip the else. We would never run that code. We hit the bottom. We go back to the top, and then we try again, right? If this is a false statement, like I was saying, if the pirate was way up here, we would skip the if that block and do else and we would have to run this and set the ninja to chase 
and then we would check again and again and again and every time we would only run one of these either this line or this line if it's true or if it's false okay let's see how this goes Ooh, the pirate is slower let's see if he flees Haha. <laughs> oh. Was it supposed to be 255? So that one worked. Uh, you couldn't tell because I ran into him at the end, but cool. We we need this at 255 for it to be 225, I guess. Okay. Woohoo! We did it. Let's keep going. 